Beta-2 adrenergic agonists are a class of medications that are common in the field of respiratory care. They are used to treat obstructive conditions such as asthma and COPD. This video is going to provide you with an overview of the beta-2 adrenergic bronchodilators, hopefully to help make the learning process easier for you. So if you're ready, let's get into it. First and foremost, what is a beta-2 adrenergic agonist? This is a class of medications that act on the beta-2 adrenergic receptors. This causes the smooth muscles of the airways to relax, which is why they are effective in treating conditions that cause acute bronchospasm. Beta-2 adrenergic agonists cause smooth muscle relaxation, bronchodilation, vasodilation, and the release of insulin. Now let's talk about the types of beta-2 adrenergic agonists. There are three primary types, and they are short-acting, long-acting, and ultra-long-acting. Short-acting beta-2 agonists are known as rescue drugs because they are used to treat acute bronchospasm. For example, if a patient is having an acute asthma attack, then a short-acting bronchodilator would be indicated. Long-acting beta-2 agonists, on the other hand, are known as maintenance medications. That is because they are used to control and maintain conditions that cause chronic bronchospasm. For example, they would be useful for the maintenance of patients with stable asthma and COPD who are not having an acute exacerbation. If the patient is having an acute attack, a short, fast-acting bronchodilator would be indicated. But if they're in stable condition, this is where long-acting bronchodilators are useful to help prevent those acute exacerbations. Now let's go through some examples of each type. Some examples of short-acting beta-2 agonists include albuterol, levalbuterol, and metaproteranol. Some examples of long-acting beta-2 agonists include arfermoterol, salmeterol, and formoterol. Keep in mind, these were just a few examples of the common types of this medication. We actually have a full guide on our website if you want to dive deeper into this topic. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. But moving right along, now let's talk about the adverse side effects of beta-2 adrenergic agonists. Here are some of the most common examples. Tachycardia, shakiness, tremors, and quivering, palpitations, excessive sweating, anxiety, and insomnia. The severity of each side effect varies from patient to patient, but these are just some of the ones to look out for. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I hope you like the information that was shared in this video. Beta-2 adrenergic agonists are definitely a class of medication that every medical professional should be familiar with. And this is especially true for respiratory therapists. We'll be going even deeper into medications in future videos, so again, definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. Just one final reminder, this video is for informational purposes only, so please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment for yourself or for your patients. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.